So, so one of the uncles has brought the Sukhothai whiskey. Right. Now, have you ever seen whiskey served up to you in a, in a plastic bag? Crazy stuff. This is 120% 120 proof, they say. Uh, it's, a, it's a rice whiskey. Um, it's, it's pure methanol, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> that's part of the game. And now we have the delicate process of decanting the vintage into the Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> yeah, so anybody offers you a white drink in a Coca-Cola bottle, refuse it. It's just not good for you. And now we have the taste tester. Good mate. Right. Ah. <laughs> Even the Thai people find it too strong. Okay, I want small shot glass. Shot glass, okay. So we're trying to make do. We don't have any shot glasses, so we no, no, it's okay. Yeah, well, here we go. Ah. You want me with your? Are you ready for drink to go Thai whiskey, sure? Okay, no, no. I, I want to see. I never sure. Run. <laughs> you sure? One I think strong too much. Cannot drink too much. Half, right, half. Right, right. One, two. Ah. Oh, what about feeling? Very sweet. No, very, no. very sweet. Very sweet juice. Why, why fail you lead? <laughs> why have it face? Because very hot. Yes. Oh my god. Ah, I think. Oh, it goes down and you feel very warm. I think maybe 15 minutes. Him drunk too much and him born. No, I you don't believe me. <laughs> Don't believe she. Ding, ding, bam! Oh my God! <laughs> you not die? Did you not die? You sure? <laughs> so where are we off to now? Um, just in a casual conversation uh, after a few drinks. B says that there's a place here that is renowned for Lister ghost, a, a ghost restaurant. Yeah. So we're heading off there. Now I have no idea how this is going to pan out in the in the whole um, genre of timeline. I don't like to make the videos anything longer than but, 15 minutes. But I just to tell you for now, I don't know. Uh, you, you, yeah, you don't know. I know. I mean, nobody know. Nobody know. Anyway, so this could be the second video of the series. So I don't know. I, it could be the solo first. I don't know. Um, just have to bear with this. If it's if it's a second one, then sorry. Like sorry, that it takes so long. Blah blah blah. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go up to check this restaurant, which is supposed to be haunted, um, and see if we can catch some ghosts. Okay, darling. I think we go ghost hunting now. Yeah. Okay. You sure? You want to go? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. <laughs> ghost hunting. Very scary. Good for Halloween. What you can eat? You can eat ghost. You want to eat ghost? <laughs> You okay, darling? You scared? Oh, too much. You scared? You sure? <laughs> you scared? Yeah. Ghost hunting. Come now, come now. Right. Go. Right, 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 right. Crazy stuff. Oh my god. I'm hungry now. Ghost hunting restaurant? Yeah. Shake again, again, shake hand. Oh, crazy. So, this is just restaurant for ghost. Ghost hunting restaurant. Thailand ghost everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> what you look at, what you see. So, very scary ghost. You sure? Yeah. Why you think scary? You can see. What about you? 
what about for you? Looks like looks Six like paper mache to me, Six but. What about you? Sure. Looks like paper mache to me. Oh, somebody just dropped the insides. Okay, so the pair of lungs and some small intestines. Yes, very macabre. <laughs> this is Thailand. What do you expect? <laughs> so what we have here, we have brains, brain for for food, brain brain food, brain food. I still haven't got over this fascination with ghosts here in Thailand. So seriously, um, for somebody who's obviously practiced in, in the occult for thirty odd years. Uh, and sort of seen some really interesting and wonderful stuff. Uh, this fascination with ghosts here in Thailand still still is quite um, beyond what I've really experienced. Well, I have to say that you know the it, it's a, it's an interesting place to visit. Um, as for the menu, well, what be is ordered here. Um, I can't. I can't really rave about it. Um, there's some of the the, the, the rice soup, uh, which looks like brains, <laughs> so it's a bit bland. Um, the pork seems to be quite nice. The chicken is a bit bland. Some sip, um, some sip yeah, some sip, pretty bad. <laughs> um, so it's not one of the, one of, not one of those sort of restaurants you would recommend um, to uh, travellers to Thailand, but. Definitely, if you have a uh, a tinge of occult flavouring, um, it's definitely something that you might want to check out. Uh, I'll, I'll try to put a pin uh, down below in the uh, description box down there and on the website so that uh, you have an idea where this place is. Um, yeah, look, look, they've spent a lot of time uh, putting together the uh, the paraphernalia to make this thing here look a bit creepy. Um, and <laughs> it definitely does look creepy, there's no doubt about that. Um, but uh, this, is, <laughs> this is something you have to get used to in Thailand. The, the, um, the way that they, they look at the whole spiritual side of, of death and everything else is something that I've found quite pronounced in their, in their culture. But anyway, like uh, getting back to the whole uh, Sisa Rong and the nightlife um, sort of aspect to Saturday night. Um, this is like uh, right now, it's 10 minutes past 8. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, <laughs> I'm making a video, darling. Uh, so this is 10 minutes past 8 in the evening on a Saturday night. This is Sisa Rong, right? <laughs> and this is traffic. Oh my god, the traffic is so bad. I tell you. But I must admit it's a definite different pace to the uh, hustle and bustle of Bangkok. Um, and that would appeal to a lot of people I'm sure that have wanted to escape from um, that sort of lifestyle. What, you talk about tomorrow? What? This is, this is video number two I think now. Yeah, number two. Yeah. Back to the 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven has become a, uh, I think, a, a ritual in itself for Thai people. What are you looking for, darling? Fry or pork and matcha. I can never work out what they're trying to buy. Be looking at junk food. Kanom. Be here, one canom. What you want, canom? No, no, just for. Of course, one thing is quite obvious when you look at the whole main street of Sisamrong here. Um, unlike Bangkok, you know things. You know, I shut down at quarter minutes, quarter past eight. Um, so um, it's not like where you can pretty much run out at midnight and get something. 
Yeah, well, 7-Eleven tends to be open, I think, 24 hours these days. So I'm, I'm not even quite sure. 7-Eleven I mean, may actually be traditionally sort of 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., which was the original name for the 7-Eleven stores. Um, but uh, most, I think, every 7-Eleven we've come across has been uh, 24 hour. But it is really, uh, this, is, this is the main street of Caesar Royal, um, the local town, you know, five kilometres away from our house, or from potentially a house. Now, so I'm going to get back to the whole thing, this is just one option that we're looking at. Uh, the whole thing comes down um, to Shania and her plans. And of course, uh, when I say her plans, you know, the plans that she makes uh, have to be you know, worked out. And uh, like even here, you have four people on a motorcycle. That is just crazy. Uh, <laughs> look, nobody's got helmets on. But hey, this is Thailand. This is what you get used to. Um, yeah, so getting back to the whole thing. So you know, we've talked about uh, building a house out in uh, Patamtani and we've talked about building a house here in, in, in um, Sisamrong or well, Sukhothai for a better word for a province. Um, Sukhothai would actually work out to be a lot cheaper um, to do the whole exercise because it's, you know, because of its location it's pretty much halfway between or no, not so much halfway between but two thirds of the way between uh, Bangkok and, and Chiang Mai um, it's uh, got some great sort of tourist attractions, but it's not really sort of known as a being a tourist destination. So this is a, a farming community, farming area. Whereas Pratantani, you know, it still gives uh, gives Shania options for, um, you know, building a business in her hairdressing if she wants to do that, um, finding herself employment initially uh, to get some more experience in hairdressing, um, and uh, you know. Again, you know the benefits of having, you know, like uh, a senior, um, senior constable. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right, right words. He's he's quite high up in the police force uh, in uh, Pratantani. Um, gives you a bit of leverage in the community, um, which is something that, hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sort of you know poke a stick at. Um, you never know when it might come in handy when you know you're out late at night and you find yourself. Uh, uh, in a pickle, you know, to give a call, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, if we move that to that uh, province, uh, life will become a little simpler when it comes to the establishment. Um, something that you always look forward to. Uh, I've already said this. Look, you know, maybe I can work for the police department and sort of, you know, update their computer systems and get it all working properly. Uh, I don't know how that went. I don't know how that went down. Um, <laughs> There'd be obviously some sort of leverage that have to sort of deal with there, and obviously to do, do with work permits and everything else. But uh, I've heard that can get, that can be quite a challenge um, if you're here on a retirement visa to actually change into a work permit visa. Uh, from what I've heard, actually requires you to leave the country and then come back again. Uh, again, that's sort of one of those sort of things that might be uh, necessary. I, uh, you never know until you actually try these things. Anyway, we're back in the car and we're off to the next place. You'll also notice behind me here is a, a couple of gentlemen, you know, like this is a couple of my uncles. Uh, I think it's probably the best way to describe them as far as I know. Um, well, when we get married they'll be my uncles. <laughs> They're only a couple of years older than me. <laughs> it's pretty hard to, to, you know, like these sort of, you know, mind games or the mind concepts I still have a bit of a challenge with, you know, from time to time, you know. Um, uh, the one on the uh, left here, he's uh, uh, a senior in the, in the, you know, the arm for here um, for, uh, see some, uh, for, not to see so much to see some wrong, but for Sukhothai. Uh, he's well respected within the community. Uh, he's not one of the, what they call the head guys, but he's, is 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 part of the head establishment here, and that's the way these sort of you know provinces work. You know, there's there is a definite hierarchy that uh, I don't know anywhere near enough about how the system works. Um, I just know that it, it does exist. Right, it's all part of the old school, you know, who you know and you know who you're friends with sort of type process uh, within the community. 
and that's how it works over here. So um, he's fairly high up uh, in that community. Um, he's one of the one of the, what they call the senior leaders. I think is probably the best way to describe it. So living in living in uh, in, in Sukhothai, see some wrong here. Um, definitely has its benefits. Uh, you know, I've got people in you know, council uh, that I could leverage if you know I need to get some support for something. Um, alternatively, um, the other uncle, got a car. Uh, the other uncle there on the other side, uh, he's the one from uh, Nakam, uh, what's from, from um, Patam Tani, uh, who we're actually sort of entertaining, sort of, you know, going into uh, buying some land with um, and and building some houses on that land and moving to Patam Tani. This is another option. But as I said, these are all things that are just long-term projects. Um, nothing happens uh, overnight here in Thailand. Uh, I think we've, we've, we've made that sort of uh, comment known uh, from time to time. Um, if you're coming out from uh, Western culture and you're sort of plugging into Thai culture, um, it's just something you're going to have to get used to. Uh, you're going to have to learn the ropes. You're going to have to learn a bit of the language. You're going to have to learn a bit of this and a bit of that. This is all part of the way, it, 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 part of the requirement for fitting into an established system. Don't forget, this is Thailand. This is a, a culture that, uh, if you're an Australian, you probably don't have an understanding of culture. Um, you know, we have you know uh, 200 odd years of history. You know, as convicts coming out, you know, in the first fleet. Um, you know, here in Thailand, you know, we've got over a thousand years of history. Um, and uh, it's a very well established history. Uh, I don't know anywhere near enough about the, how the whole system works. Uh, I, I, I make an effort to where I can to find out more and more about it. But uh, it, this is where I find Google is my friend. Um, because trying to read some of these Thai websites is near impossible if you don't know how to read Thai or even how to interpret to Thai. Um, but anyway, this is this is what I this is what we do. Um, this is part of integrating into the Thailand sort of culture. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little bit uh, with the with the restaurant. <laughs> that was something that was a little bit uh, impromptu. Um, I'll wait for Thailand. Well, I'll wait for Shania to come down, uh, and we'll sign off on this one as well. And then tomorrow we've got uh, the wedding. Uh, what you're doing, Dad? Oh, you have clothes on. Yeah, I just. Everything for tomorrow. You have, okay, see, so my, my clothes, yes, and everything, your dress, good, good. Why you have TV? Yeah. What? The one is you. Alright, so it's, it's, it's only a quarter to nine, so it's still early in the evening. What's this, darling? In the top, I take both. Half both. <laughs> Not really all. Kun Thai TV has always surprised me. That, you know, like, like American TV, it seems to be very violent with guns and things like that. Um, of course, not really in understanding the language. I really don't know what they're talking about, but um, again, it's, it's part of the way life is here in Thailand. <laughs> Why do you want to change now? Why do you want to change? I, you want to go sad? No, no, everybody wants to see. <laughs> anyway, darling, it's time for us to go and close this video. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> she likes to push me around a bit. Anyway, so <laughs> it's a good, good night from me and it's a yeah. good night from her. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And the next video will be the weddings tomorrow. So. You're looking forward to the wedding? I'm so full to my <laughs> Anyway, uh, we'll catch up with you later, guys. <laughs> catch you around again. Thank, thank for enjoy with the all, me uh, and just, him. She just stood on my tool. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> thank you for enjoy with the all. <laughs> and I hope people come see me all the time. Right. Yeah. You know, when they come over from, uh, from overseas, when they come over, I, I'm sure they come to see you, darling. They don't come to see me. <laughs> really? I'm sure. Anyway, bye for now. Go?